I now have the Morse code trainer hooked up to an external CW key and an external speaker as well as a serial monitor. In this case the serial monitor is putty using a large font. Um, now if we look at that we can see an example output of what I might have had during that last session where I got 10 out of uh, 12 correct. That's what it, the sort of thing that would have been on the monitor. Okay, now I'm going to do an, another exercise, actually a transmit test. Now I'm going to do the fifth exercise, which is actually a transmit test. Uh, and I'm going to move the over to the fifth LED, select it, and it uh, indicates here that uh, the line it wants me to enter for this uh, test is the second line. Um, there's a set of green LEDs, blue, red, I mean yellow, red, so the blue is the second set, and uh, and that's saying you enter line two. So I'm going to enter the second line. It's also reflected in the monitor. So I'm going to start that. Um, Okay, notice it's beeping every time I uh, enter a word. Uh, that gives me a feedback so I know that we're in sync because I should get the end of the word same time it thinks I'm at the end of the word. And it also gives me an indication with the LEDs here which word I'm on. So the fourth LED is blinking. I should be entering the fourth word, uh, which is uh, with. Um, I'm going to do that right now. And then... B E T C H A. Okay, and it indicates that uh, I had well five words per minute in five errors, or six words. Per, yeah, five words per minute and five errors. And uh, you'll see. You can also see on the monitor here um, what I put in there. And I, it shows me my overall character speed, uh, I mean my character speed as well as my overall speed, which includes all the pauses between the words and stuff and the talking. <laughs> so my character speed was 8.68 and my word speed was 4.98 and I had five errors. But as you can see, it can all be done just uh, with the, uh, the unit itself. You don't need the display.